enjoy yourself. This is Real FM. Get ready for clack to get clacked on by Strong Arm Steady here on Real FM. After that, E equals MC squared by Jay Dilla featuring Common. And then I got that dreads from Guilty Simpson for you. Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. <laughs> no problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, uh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. You know, my life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with too, eh? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then where will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful, but... You know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. Now, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture. Don't scratch the paint! Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky, and my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes too, and that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices more like. That too? the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver.
I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> A black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh well, Wei, come on. We can go now. All right, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, baby. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Faster, faster, go faster. Pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Here. Here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that van. I'll follow you. Hey. Isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast.
not pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Don't worry. Get that van. Tell Winston I got Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Way. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that orchid. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Van needs brothers. Uncles. Sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> you're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Right back. What are you doing here? <clears throat> when it when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. Uh, I am here, and not here. I uh, love flowers. Ah, brother, so true, so true. Here. Uh, 
Well, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? When we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true.
You got them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Wei. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Now, sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. Do you have a good heart? Peggy, I... Nope, I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston, he talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man, that's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret. You do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. What's it like in America? Uh, less crowded. I guess. Do you like it better here or there? In some ways, I was more comfortable there, but it wasn't home. It's important to have a home. But I'm not sure. No Hong Kong. Home is home. Thanks for being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you.